Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. Please keep in mind, as it's a general read, it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements to crosswatch or come back next time. Let's see now what are the energies <coughs> for the sign of Capricorn. Excuse me. How Capricorn is viewing their situation or their person? What is in Capricorn's mind space, please? Let's see. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. Let's get one more card for Capricorn. One more card, please. For Capricorn. Page of Wands, <clears throat> with the Nine of Coins here followed by the Seven of Coins. It feels to me, Capricorn, like you are actually in a very good energies here. You are very grounded at this time, quite independent, and I see you growing actually from the Knight to the King, right? I see your feelings growing towards someone. I see probably the depth of the feeling is growing and uh, it's actually something maybe even new for you maybe even you're exploring some new sides of your romantic self right maybe you are exploring some new places in your own heart something of that sort and it makes you feel very curious excited at this time i do see a very good energies on your part here for sure very independent and very also you know you're giving yourself time to to develop feelings, to, you know, to grow within this probably connection or something of that sort, right? I see you investing in this too. Let's see what's on this person's side. How this person is viewing Capricorn, please. How this person is viewing Capricorn and their connection at this time. What is in their headspace? Let's see. Nine of Wands, Ace of Swords. Let's get one more card. One more card, please. How this person is viewing Capricorn and their connection, please. Strength here could be dealing with Leo. Well, this person is a little bit more complicated here, okay? I feel like they do realize what you are, what this connection is. Uh, interesting that they view you as this uh, Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck, but look. The Queen of Wands here is surrounded by the Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Six of Swords. So this person, some for some reason, this person is quite conflicted about the, the, the situation with you, their relationship with you. Why, it's difficult for me to say, but I do see them being a little bit guarded here, and I do see that... I actually do see that this person needs courage for some reason at this time. Maybe they need to tell you something. Hmm? I don't feel a secret, to be honest. I don't feel anything like deceptive, at least so far. But I, I feel like this person needs to tell you something. And this will give them, if they do tell you something, this will give them a peace of mind. I see you actually giving yourself a peace of mind. Right? But for this person, I see them being very conflicted. And uh, it has everything to do with their feelings for you, with their relationship with you. They do view you as a queen of wands here, as the most beautiful, the most charming, the most, you know, funny and pretty or handsome uh, person. However, I feel like there is some truth, some revelation, some clarity needs to be achieved here and and I feel like this person is collecting courage for that that's what I'm picking up on let's see what's in your heart space whoa 
Capricorn. The Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers, right. You could be dealing with the fixed sign. Uh, Leo could be Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Gemini here with the, with the Lovers. Let's get one more card. Lovers often signify twin flame connection. We'll see if I will get this vibe. I will let you know. Oh, something major is going on here, that's for sure. Seven of coins again on your side. Yeah, I do see you are investing in this. Right? And I do see that you are actually, maybe you worry a little bit back and forth mm, about this uh, connection whatsoever. Uh, but the thing is that, yes, uh, with this with the scars that I've seen in the beginning of the reading, I see that maybe even the whole understanding of love as a, as a, as a phenomenon uh, is growing within you and um, and I feel like you know many people they treat love as just some kind of you know this movie romantic thing uh, I do not see you doing that I do see you treating it a lot more seriously I do see that you realize that uh, whenever we love someone or something actually it it's teaching us something all the time it's showing us something within ourselves. So, therefore, sometimes some people, when they, when they face some, let's say, some kind of difficulties, obstacles, or you know, in love, they just uh, they give up on this. They run away or whatever. I don't see you doing that. I do see that uh, you were thinking to even maybe quite recently, but with the Wheel of Fortune here, I, th I see that the, it, it changed for you, and it changed you as a person. So I see you, uh, I see you are investing definitely emotionally, uh, I mean, you know, spiritually, if not even in this connection, but at least in your own sense of love, you know, it feels to me like, could be in this connection too. Let's see what's in the heart space. You see, seven of wands, eight of coins. Let's get one more card. One more card. Page of coins. Right, right. Interesting. I see this person is trying to work they're trying to work out some courage to talk to you. This is how it looks to me. And um, it, I also feel that actually for this person, it is not so easy. It's not something they get used to do. I feel like they actually get used to uh, in whatever situation is between the two of you, because it's not clear to me. But in this particular kind of situations, this person is they they get they get used to be you know just just putting their guard up, right and um, chasing everyone away, right or just closing off or something uh, something of that sort. But they can't, they can't. Why? I tell you why. Because uh, with the hierophant at the bottom of the deck and the six of coins on this person's side, I do feel like they really, really want this with you. They really, really want to be with you. They want this reciprocity, this deep spiritual connection, the commitment they want to have it with you, right? And uh, they do understand that what kind of commitment will be possible here if they are so closed off. I see them working on that. I see them working on that. I do not know how effectively or we are going to find out. I see this person need, needs to master a lot of courage for some reason to, you know, to even confess themselves what's going on here, really. I see them being in need of courage. They're working on that, though. With the Eight of Coins and the Page of Coins, they're working on that. Little steps, you know, one step at a time. Let's see what actions are they going to take towards Capricorn. What an interesting energy here. Uh, with the High Priestess, you could be dealing with Pisces. Uh, Eight of uh, Cups here also. Let's get one more card for them. One more card for them. Uh, 
three of coins. You see, six of coins again at the bottom of the deck. And look at this, I want to show you. Their deck and your deck. Right? They do know. They know. They know you're meant to be together. They know you are a match. At least. At least. I'm not, I'm not saying here Twin Flames or Soulmates as of yet, but uh, at least you are a match, that's for sure. Could be a Twin Flame connection. It feels, at least it feels very intense on your, on your side. This Queen of Swords here again. Knight of Swords. You want the truth, Capricorn. You want to know. That card. Right. Right. So, what we, what we have here, Capricorn, let's talk about this. Uh, about this person. Let me tell you, they are trying. They are trying. I do not know, once again... They are trying to master this courage. They are trying to actually. Uh, they are trying to access their intuition. That's what I see, right? I'm not sure they are trying in the right way because the Eight of Cups is telling me here that they are trying to just basically detach from everything uh, in this situation. It's not going to work, for sure. Um, and probably as soon as they understand that. Just, you know, detachment alone. Detachment from the desire doesn't work. We can't live without desires. Our heart loves. So it will have desires. Detaching from the outcome. Yes, that's another story. But this person is trying to detach themselves from you. And uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, Capricorn. It's like, it's a little bit childish from on, on their side. They are really trying. I see that they are trying. They are, yes, they are mastering actually the access to their intuition, which is good, which is good. Once again, with the six of uh, coins here at the bottom of the deck, they do want this with you. They do want at least a balance, you know, this balanced energy, equal give and take, reciprocity here. This, this beautiful energy, they do want it. They do want it. Uh, on your side, I see that, uh, look what I see here, with the temperance at the bottom of the deck here on your side. I do see that whatever attempts you had before to uh, not force this connection, but, you know, to like to force the clarity maybe, or maybe to, you know, put all dots on the eyes. Is, is that the right way to say? I'm not sure. Uh, right with the, with the um, Knight of Swords here and the Queen of Swords, if you were trying before to, to be in this kind of energy, like, let's talk about this. Let's uh, talk about this openly. Let's discuss everything. Da, 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 da. I see you leaving this attempt alone. Right? I see that you are just trying to, to enter the energy of the temperance here. Right? The energy of just being in the flow. The energy of just being in the balance, in harmony, and in trust. Right? I see you trusting. The universe, I see the guides around you, I see angels around you, I see you communicating with the universe quite openly after you, uh, after you are able to leave this uh, logical attempt to, you know, this, this let's discuss it and, uh, and it will solve everything because sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just, and also with the temperance here, I see definitely that there is some waiting is going to be involved in this situation. And I see you understanding this. I see you coming to this understanding. But yes, there is going to be some waiting because definitely this person, yes, they are trying. Yes, they are developing um, some certain things within themselves. But it is very small steps and they are only learning and they are only trying to work it out. So this could take some time. Even though, like I said, right, on this person's part, I see that what they want with you, right, they want balance, harmony, commitment, togetherness, uh, deep spiritual connection. This is what they want. Uh, can they get it? I'm not sure. They're working on it, right? Uh, I see that. I see that you are not... 
You are not forcing anything here, even if you were trying before, you could have this uh, this willing to, you know, to resolve something quickly and once and for all. No, I see you leaving this attempt. I see you just being in the flow and it's actually a beautiful energy, right? So, uh, yeah, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this helped and I hope to see you again. Bye, Capricorn.